hello guys and welcome back to my channel so today we're gonna make this beautiful baby doll dress so without wasting my time let's get right into it <laughs> We need a fabric, t-shirt, ruler, pins, tape measure, and a scissors. So what we'll do first is to fold the fabric and lay the t-shirt on top. So what I did was to fold in the hem to shorten it, um, the sleeve. If you want it a bit longer, you can just trace it as you want. So what I'm going to do now is to trace the outline of the t-shirt. So I would trace it a little bit um, from the underarm over there. Depending on how long or short you want it, you can just do it to your preference. So that is how long I want mine. So I will join the line and add a little bit of an allowance, about half an inch of allowance. So what I'll do next is to cut it out. The lower side was a bit out. So sorry for that. But I hope you know what happened there. I was just cutting. So I cut it out. And then what I'm going to do next is to cut another one, the same thing. So I'll fold the fabric and lay this on top and then duplicate it make sure it's even and straight so that you get the exact same thing so after that i'm going to cut it out So now that the two pieces are done, one for the front and one for the back, I'm going to cut the front neckline. So I measured one and a half inch down and then join it to the shoulder and then cut it. And then move the front away because the neckline is done and then we work on the back neckline. So what I'm doing is I first cut one inch, but I realized it was a bit higher. So I cut it a bit lower, about two inches more, and then join it to the shoulder line and cut it out, depending on how high or low you want it. This is just a guideline, so you can just um, do it to your preference and then I'm going to make there's going to be like a round circle at the back so that is what I'm doing if you want the circle also you can do this but it depends on you so now the top piece is done so now cut pieces for the layer so the first layer has a width of 18 inches and then the length of 60 inches it's just a rectangle so and then the second layer is a bit shorter that one has a length of 100 and the width of 10 inches now also cut a also cut a rectangular piece for the um, frills for the sleeve with a length of 25 inches and a width of 6 inches so what i'm going to do next is to cut a bias for the neckline we'll cut a bias to finish the neckline so go ahead and draw a diagonal line because the bias doesn't have to be straight so cut a diagonal line that straight um stretches and then it's going to fit the rounded neckline perfectly so after this i'm going to measure one and a half inch width that's how wide I want the bias strip to be. And 
they're already made ones so you can buy them um but if if you don't want to go through the stress you can buy yours but if you want to learn how to make it yourself then you can do as i am doing so i will cut it out i'm going to cut about three of these so you can make it as long as you want and that means you're going to cut more so i'll put it on top of the fabric again and cut out the same thing So now let's make sure we have all the pieces, the um, front and the back piece, the first layer, the second layer, and then the frill for the sleeve, and then the bias tape. So if you have all these, then great, we'll be going to the machine. So the front and back top make sure front um the right sides are facing so what we're going to do at the machine is to sew the shoulder line both shoulder lines and then the sides and not where the sleeves are gonna be so just the side and then the shoulder line and also you're going to run a straight um what do you call it basting stitch on both layers to each and also on the sleeve to each so that we'll be able to gather at both piece of the sleeve so now the stitch is done i went ahead and finish the edges because it was fraying a lot so i used the zigzag stitch to finish the edge so that there is not much fraying so here is the basting stitch so i'm going to i did it on the first layer the second layer and the frill for the sleeve So take the two threads and then pull it bit by bit. You have to do it patiently else you're gonna break the thread and that you have to do it all over again. So take your time, push it bit by bit and make sure you even out the gathers. So I went ahead and did it off camera just to not make the video too long so it's done and then what i'm going to do next is to join the side seams so that also i'm going to do it off camera so for the first layer second layer and the sleeves i'm going to join the side seams So two pieces for the sleeve, one for the first layer, and then one for the second layer. Make sure you have all these pieces and join the seams. So now I'm back from joining the seams. So there you can see. And make sure you don't cut the thread, the goddess thread yet because we still have to make sure it's fitting um, where it's supposed to be so the first layer is going to be around the waist or the bust of the top so even out your gathers and make sure it's fitting the um the end of the bust that is why we don't have to cut the thread yet because if you're going to cut the thread then you're going to lose the gathers so mark the middle of the back and then snip it 
so that you know exactly where the middle is there so what we're going to do is to pin the seam the seam we have we're going to pin it to the middle side of the back because that will indicate the back where the seam is so we pin it to the middle side of the back so for um right side facing you pin it right sides facing so pin it all round and then if it's too long you adjust it if it's too um too short you open up the gathers a little bit so we still don't have to cut the gathers thread yet the long thread you have after pulling the gathers you don't have to cut it yet so pin it all the way to the end now you can see that I'm shorting a little bit of the garter, so I'm going to open it up a little bit. I'm taking off the pins and pulling the garter out a little bit so it will fit perfectly. So I have to pull it a bit more. So now that is good, I'm going to go ahead and pin again. So yeah, the first layer is pinned and then I'm going to pin the second layer. So that one also has a seam. So I'll match the seams and make sure they are aligning very They are aligning. <laughs> make sure they are aligning. That's the thing so also do the same thing you did for the top one so make sure the guard is affecting well so i went ahead and pinned everything and also i pinned the frills to the sleeve so now i'm going to go to the machine and stitch them all the first layer second layer and the sleeves So now it's done. I went ahead and did the sewing. And then without wasting much time, I finished the raw edges because the fabric was fraying a lot. So I finished the raw edges. I did only about quarter an inch, but depending on how short or long you want it, also you can fold in your him as big as he wants so that is done now we're moving to the neckline we have to finish the neckline so what you're gonna do is to take the bias that we cut I'm going to take one of them fold it into two and then at the wrong side I'm going to pin it to the raw edge so just look at what I'm doing. It's so simple. I'm using the simple method. There are a lot of methods you can use, but I'm using this method so everyone can do it. So that is it and cut the excess away. So I'm going to do about quarter of an inch stitch along the edge. Take out the pins as you sew. So now that is done, I'm going to trim the seam a little bit so that when I'm folding it, it's nice and neat. So fold it over. You can iron it to make it flat and then pin it, pin it down to the right side. So we first did it at the wrong side. Now we fold it on top of the at the right side. And then I'm going to sew close to the edge. Very close to the edge. So now it's done. And you can see how it looks now. Very nice and neat. And 
that's how the wrong side looks like so now we are going to move to the a bit complicated side so for that i'm going to mark the middle of the neckline so bring the two shoulders together and then indicate the mid the mid front of the neckline and snip it with the scissors just a little bit not so deep just to know where the middle is so i'm going to take the remaining of the bias there were two pieces and i joined them together to form a long um, one bias So you can cut the diagonal thing so the seam where the seam is will indicate the middle for me because there were two equal length buyers and then i joined them together so where the seam is is going to be the middle part so i'm going to attach the middle part to the middle of the neckline so what you do is to fold the both sides to the middle and then fold one on top you can iron it to make it easy for you you can iron the whole thing before attaching it to the neckline but if you're lazy like me sorry about that but yeah if you want to go to do it like this then that's fine also so watch like i'm doing fold both sides to the middle and fold it on top of each other like that so we'll be doing that and pinning all along to the end of the bias you have to be a little bit patient with this if you want your work to be nice and neat so take your time and do it make sure you have all the time in the world when <laughs> you're doing that side because the bias stretches and if you don't take your time it's not gonna be straight so just take your time and do it and you're going to be happy with your work So yeah, I pinned it. I'm moving to the end of the bias because it's going to be the same for tying the neckline. You're going to see how it's going to be like. So cut the diagonal thing and then fold it in to finish it after sewing. So like that, you see that it's already finished. I'll do same to the other side so now I pinned everything I'm going to move to the machine and so close to the edge again so that also you have to be really really patient so close to the edge I'm going to do that and I'll be right back So that is done and this is how it looks like you have to be really patient as I said so the bias continues and then that also um, serves as a tie for the back so that is how the neckline looks like very nice and pretty that is it so now our work is done and what we have to do now is to take out the basting stitch that we did the one that we use for the garters because we don't need them anymore that was just to help us get the garters or the ruching yeah so now let's take those out and our work will be done 
so after taking it out i'm going to iron the dress and then we're going to try it on to see how it looks on so stay tuned Ta-da! so this is how the dress looks on i really love it it's very comfortable simple and beautiful and i hope this tutorial was very simple and easy to understand and if there are any questions you can ask me in the comment section and if there are any tutorials you want me to do you can also ask me in the comment section and i would do a video on it so if you haven't subscribed at this point please do that and give me a thumbs up see you in my next video bye